Cast is now starting. All attendees are in listen only mode. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's training session. Uh, I'm Doug Cook. I'm the publisher of Jax Fax Travel Marketing, and I would like to thank you all for taking the time out of your busy days to join us today. We really do appreciate it. Today, I'm joined by Jimmy Stravopoulos. He is the Director of Sales North America for Agencia Global. Uh, today, Jimmy will be telling you all about their Consolidator Air booking platform, I imagine most of you joining us today already work with Air Consolidators, but if by chance anyone has not done so, it is a great opportunity to make money selling airline tickets and in particular international airfares. Uh, just a reminder that Jimmy will be generously giving out two Air Europa tickets today, but please be aware that you do need to participate in the entire webinar to be qualified to enter the drawing for these tickets. And now, without further ado, let me turn things over to Jimmy. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for taking the time to attend our webinar. So uh, as Doug just said, my name is Jimmy. I'm the Director of Sales over at Agencia Global. And uh, today, I'm basically going to be running you through um, our booking platform, uh, showing you what the experience is like, how you'd see your commissions displaying, uh, and some awesome uh, revolutionary features that we brought to the platform lately. So we allowed you to hide your markup uh, and accept uh, multiple credit cards on one PNR. So we'll we'll run through all that good stuff together. And also, as Doug just mentioned, that the uh, for everybody who attends the webinar until the end, we will be raffling off a pair of Air Europa tickets. But Doug, I will correct you. It's not courtesy of Agencia Global. It's actually cur courtesy of Air Europa themselves so uh, they're the ones showing the love today on that front um, for those of you who haven't heard of the air europa they do fly to an incredible variety of routes uh, across the globe so uh, north central and south america europe africa uh, with their hub located in madrid and they actually have the most modern fleet in europe which is pretty cool um, you know for a relatively smaller airline uh, you know they, they also have exceptional customer service uh, which I've kind of experienced on my end whenever I've had to call in and kind of uh, help customers out here and there. So we're going to be showing them some love today since they were generous enough to offer us the pair of tickets. And, um, you know, we'll just uh, go as if we're booking that uh, that flight for the lucky winner right now. So we'll, uh, we'll go through things with an Air Europa booking. So without further ado, let's uh, get into the booking process here. So this is your homepage. When you log into Agencia Global, you'll end up on your dashboard. Uh, so you'll notice here right away you have the option to proceed with booking a flight or a car rental. Uh, if there are any bookings needing attention, you'll see them right over here as a hyperlink, so you'd be able to click on them to open them up. Uh, what we mean by needing attention could be anything, for example, flight for fraud, uh, a schedule change, uh, bookings that are saved awaiting uh, to actually be uh, sold, saved as quotes and all that good stuff. And then as you scroll down, you'll get to our news section. Now this is actually exclusive for Agentia specific news, so you won't see anything relating to the airlines here. Um, so most recently, for example, on June 20th, we increased commissions 25% across the board. So what that meant is that we're now officially giving away 100% of the uh, commissions that an airline offers us. So let's just move right into booking our flight so we head right over here and hit book flights now the booking process is a three-page process uh, the first one is as simple as entering your origin destination and travel dates so by default round trip is selected but you could of course book a one-way or a multi-city multi-city for the time being allowing for up to five city pairs for the demo let's say we're just booking a simple round trip so the tickets that are being offered are for either JFK or Miami to Madrid. So let's say you're in Miami and you're looking to head out to Madrid. So you'd enter your origin and destination. Let's close that because we'll get to that a bit later. And then your travel date. So let's say we want to go at some time in the winter as Montrealers such as myself like to do. So let's say we leave in January from the 14th and go for just over 10 days. So we have an 11 day trip here. Now, since we do want to show how you could accept multiple credit cards on one PNR, we'll exaggerate the passenger count and say we're booking for five adults. Now you could fit up to nine passengers on one PNR. So 
We have a bunch of drop down menus here that allow you to provide the breakdown of adults, children, infants on lap, and, and on seat. And then you could also isolate the cabin class if you want economy going upward. Uh, for the purposes of the demo, we'll just leave this as all. Now, Agencia by default allows you, you'll see over here, disable multi tickets. By default, it'll provide search results um, that include two one way fares in lieu of a true round trip fare. If you're interested in those, Agencia is going to pull them out for you automatically, anyways. If you're not interested in fares such as those ones, then you just hit disable right here. Now, again, just to show you know, how the platform works without many parameters set on it, we'll leave this unchecked to provide options. And then if you'd like, you could also select your preferred carrier. So again, let's say we're looking at Air Europa, you could go either by spelling the airline's name or even by airline code. So in their case, UX. Now, I'm not going to isolate them in the search results, so you could get a good idea basically of uh, you know, how multiple fares are presented. So that's it for page one. It was as simple as origin, destination, travel dates, passengers, and hitting on search flights right down here. So now the GDS is running, uh, excuse me, Agencia is running through the GDS uh, to pull all available fares. The search does take, let's say, about 15 to 20 seconds. So in the meantime, you could just confirm here your origin, destination, and travel dates, make sure you haven't made any mistakes. And the top of page two is fairly simple. It's just going to recap the info you provided on the first page to ensure that you know no mistakes were made on you know a travel date or the currency you selected or anything to that effect. So here we are without further ado on our second page. So we'll see here we're looking for fares in US dollars from Miami to Madrid, January 14th and 25th for five adults. Now, the first thing we see when we get to the results page is our carrier matrix. So here we have airlines uh, sorted in ascending order of price from left to right, as well as by number of stops. So the least expensive overall fare will always be highlighted in green. In, in this case, we're looking at a TAP Portugal fare of 24.27, whereas the least expensive options of the other two rows, so in this case, a two-stop multi-ticket option of 25.06, and the Air Europa direct flight at 25.49 are both going to be highlighted in blue. So this here is just to basically give you a high level idea of where all airlines stand. Um, but that said, if you scroll a bit further down, they're all sorted once again in ascending order of price. So you'll notice here by packs or by grand total. So they are sorted in ascending order of price. And then as well as by fare type. So you'll see we have a bunch of published fares, but then we even have some net fares here and so on. Now, since this does pull out a bunch of different results and you know some may not apply necessarily to your customers because there may be seven hour connections involved and all that good stuff, we do allow you right here to click and filter down your results. So in the case of this itinerary, we're going from Miami to Madrid Let's say the customers believe that you know one stop is more than enough, and uh, you know hypothetically we'll say they had a bad experience connecting to Orly, so you want to get rid of results uh, with Orly. And then, for example, flight duration. Now we've pulled out itineraries going up to 74 and a half hours, which obviously makes no sense for a round trip to Madrid. So let's say you know if we were to stretch it out, we'd say maybe we're willing to look at itineraries up to 30 hours. So now if I scroll back down here all my results are still there, but once I click on apply filters, a lot of them are going to disappear because now we're only going to be looking at two stop itineraries that don't connect through Orly um, and that are only 30 hours and 15 minutes round trip time. So once again, everything is sorted in ascending order of price and our partners here at Air Europa are listed slightly above Pat Portugal. But as we saw in the carrier matrix further here above, this was the total price $25.49, so about $122 more, but for a direct flight. So this is where we kind of equip you to compare itineraries so you could see you know, what, what would be more worthwhile for your customers. So for this $130 difference, you're basically asking yourself, well, how long, do, how long do the passengers have to wait while they're connecting? So when you click on view flights next to an airline, you'll see the available itineraries, your outbound flights being listed on the left and inbound on the right. So you'll see here that Tap Portugal, between outbound and inbound, your customers are stuck waiting about four hours and 15 minutes. So obviously for $130 more, 
total, uh, so barely just under $30 per passenger more, um, they could all fly direct. So if we hit the Air Europa itinerary here, obviously this one makes more sense. Again, you'll see outbound on the left, inbound on the right. Now just to kind of walk you through what you're looking at, at the top here you have the price per adult. Now when you hover over our fares, you may have noticed that little pop-up coming up as I was speaking earlier. It's gonna provide you with the, the breakdown between the base fare and the taxes, as well as in the case of the total price over here. Now, the little blue luggage icon next to your fare, if clicked on, is gonna open a new window which redirects you to the airline-specific baggage page. So in this case here, it would redirect you to Air Europa's website directly. And if you click the little blue eye over here, what that's gonna do is actually pull out all the fare rules directly from Amadeus. So as I'm scrolling down, all this this is exactly what's showing up in the gds so what we're trying to do here between the link to the airline's website and pulling out the fare rules directly from amadeus is avoiding the potential of human error um you know in the case that we had someone working here updating this stuff manually and they were on vacation for a week what would happen if you know the airline updated a policy while they were on vacation this way it's kind of a fail safe click here we're sending you directly to the airline click here we're giving you the airline's information directly out of the gds so to move from left to right here, you'll have your number of seats remaining, your flight number, your booking class, the OD for the segment, departure and arrival times, flight time, and as mentioned earlier, the fare rules. Now, once you click on your outbound and your inbound flight, you'll notice your little commission calculator starts to kick in, as well as uh, a little tab underneath here that will populate, showing you available fare families. So in this case, I happen to select a flight for which only light fares are available. But when you hover over it, it kind of gives you an idea of what's included, what's not offered, and so on. Um, in the case of more fa fare families being available, you'd see multiple tabs, and by hovering over them, it'll give you the difference of one versus the other. So now, we could see right away that on this, in this case, we're looking at a total commission of 1675, which is 5% of the base fare. Uh, nice little shout out here for Air Europa. Um, even their entry level fares, their most basic of fare, uh, through Agencia Global will pay you 5%. And that's 5% comes directly from Air Europa without any cut being taken in between. So once we've selected our outbound and our inbound, we like our fare of 2548. We're ready to move on. At this point, we simply would click on book. Now, before I take you here, I just want to show you one other little option before we move to the last page. So we'll get rid of our search results here. We also have over here a flexible day matrix. So when I click on this, it's gonna add and subtract three days from both the outbound and the inbound date. So the center square or the center cell at 2427 highlighted in gray, that's the one that will always, always correspond to the dates you selected. Anything in green is less expensive, has a less expensive option on that date uh, than the one you selected and anything in dark green is the least expensive of that matrix. So right over here, anything in these cells over here in green is less expensive. The least expensive available fare for that date combination though is right over here on the 14th to the 22nd at 2253. Now you probably notice when I hover over a, a cell, both the row and the, and the column will be highlighted. So that's just to make your life easier. For example, if someone absolutely needs to leave on let's say Tuesday the 14th, for example, the entire row is highlighted so you can see the price by return date. Um, my scroller here, my mouse has also become a finger pointer. All of these prices are hyperlinked, so if you click on any of them, the search reruns automatically as if those were the travel dates you selected originally on the first page, and you'll come back to the results page with prices corresponding to those dates. So we'll just click here to close that up again and come back down here to our area row by itinerary. So if this is what we like, this is what we want to book, we then simply click book and kind of as was the case moving from page one to page two you're looking at about a 15 to 20 second wait while seat selection is being confirmed um, in the meantime once again you have your flight number outbound inbound uh, flight dates and time so you can once again confirm that no errors were made on the previous page and again as was the case on the second page the third or excuse me the top of the third page is going to recap uh, the information you selected on the previous one. So right up here, I just hit an autofill button, which you wouldn't see uh, when you register. 
What that just did is fill out the uh, forms underneath with fake passenger info, so I don't have to bore you and make you watch me fill that out later on when we do the booking. So you have your customer's itinerary right here at the top. Again, outbound flight here at the top, inbound here at the bottom, the link to the luggage policy still available. You have your aircraft with your RBD and all that good stuff. Now, this is where I'm not going to bore you and show you how to fill out a form. So that's what the autofill accomplished. But this is where we get into the meat and potatoes of what may interest you to use Agentsia Global over as the tool you're using right now. So um, as I mentioned earlier, we pass on 100% of our commissions to you. So in this case, Air Europa is paying Agentsia Global 5% of the base fare. We're kicking back the entirety of that 5% to you. In the case of CAT 25 fares, you know, preloaded net fares in the GDS, we don't mark them up. So let's say hypothetically on this base fare of Suite 35, instead of there being a commission available, Air Europa were to offer you a net fare of, or to offer us, excuse me, a net fare of 310 on that 335, you would see it available in Agencia as a net fare of 310. So we wouldn't make it 312 or 313 or anything to that effect. So anything offered to us in terms of a net fare or commission is passed off 100% to you. Now here you'll notice that the commission is showing as zero. That's because I'm logged in as an administrator. So we've put administrator commissions to zero so as to avoid any accounting errors later on. But that $15 commission you saw on the previous page would be available to this itinerary. Now, on top of the fact that we don't mark up our net fares, we allow you to hide your markup. Now what that means is, um, you know, you as travel agents sometimes want to mark up your fares over and above what the airline allows for. So I'm sure you've heard many times that an airline will either allow you to mark up your net up to only the published fare or a fixed amount uh, such as 25%, for example. So what happens there is if you're adding any value-added services, call it a hotel room upgrade because you have connections where the customer is going, limo service to and from the airport, any type of... Uh, you know, sightseeing package, you name it. For one reason or another, you want to mark, it, mark up your fare and offer it as a package deal. The airline won't allow you to charge that full amount to their, their merchant account. Um, so you always end up getting stuck with a second line item on your customer's credit card. Um, now this is easily at least my 200th webinar on Agencia Global. And we do collect feedback and answer questions at the end of, at the, end of the calls. And very often uh, when I would ask the question back, to attendees about what they wanted to see solved in the industry to make their lives as travel agents easier, one of the most resounding answers was, please help me avoid explaining separate credit card charges to my customers. So we did actually develop uh, something that would allow you to do so. So I'll show you how that works right now. If this were a net fare, chances are there would be an allowable markup. In this case, it's a published fare, so obviously Air Europa doesn't allow for any markup on the merchant account. Now, instead of expecting you as agents to look up each airline's markup rules manually, we make your lives easier. If you just hover over agency markup here, you'll notice it says Air Europa's merchant account allowance, $0, published fare, obviously no, no uh, markup allowed. But then you'll see below maximum agency markup, what Agencia Global Ask allows you to mark up by is $670. So we allow basically for up to twice uh, the total base fare. Um, which in this case I assume would be way more than anything you'd mark it up by. Um, but we allow you to do that while hiding your markup. So let's say, for example, for one reason or another, um, your customers have agreed, thanks to any value-added service you've included in their fare, that they're willing to pay about $2,800 for that. So you put yourself a markup of approximately uh, $250, $50 per passenger, so your total here, which is broken down by base fare and taxes for your subtotal of 28, uh, 2548, now has a markup of 250 added to it. But because Air Europa doesn't um, accept that additional markup on the merchant account, that is basically being forced, this 250 is being forced to our merchant account. Now, anything on our merchant account does have a 3% service fee applied to it. So in this case, you're looking at your original subtotal of 2548 plus 250 for your markup, plus the service fee. Now again, I'm registered as a Quebec agent, so disregard what you're seeing here as tax, um, plus your service fee for a total of 2806. That though would be broken down as 2548, the original subtotal on Air Europa's merchant account, 
and the balance on Agencia Global's merchant account, which leads us to the famous two separate line items on the customer's credit card. So to solve that, we added a new pricing strategy here. So under pricing strategy, lowest price is always gonna be selected. What that means is that if you want to mark up your fare by $250, the lowest price that you're gonna be able to pay is 2806, and that 2806 is gonna be broken down as such over two line items for your total over here on your customer's credit card. Now, let's say you don't want that to happen, and I will guide your attention to the total price of 2806 because the amount is going to go up. The total price will go up. If you select single charge, we go from 2806 to 2886, so the price went up by $80. But why is that? Because now we're forcing the entirety of the fare to our merchant account directly in a single click for you. So now, all of a sudden, your customer calling you after the fact and saying, you know, why am I seeing that extra $250? under a different name is that the markup like did you mark up my ticket is that the profit you made i thought i was paying a package price and you know all that good stuff at this point becomes a simple call of hey that 2800 bucks i paid you last month is showing up as agency global is is that fine and you know at that point you say yeah that's our whole seller and you're done so now at this point if it really is a price of 2886 uh that was agreed on then you know, you'd have to drop the markup accordingly. So in this case, it would probably be closer to 175 and it would automatically recalculate. There we go, we go down to 2809. So in this case, it would be more like 165. So again, you would have to take it out of your markup if you wanna hit the old price that you were at. But that said, Agencia is still the only one who's gonna allow you to mark it up even by 165 without showing the separate line item. Now, if it's a matter of just including your markup and offering a total price at that point you say hey i want to make my 250 so mr and mrs customers your price is 2886 now as mentioned that will all show up as agencia global on the customer's credit card but speaking of credit cards if we scroll down to the payment information you'll see here that single payment is always selected by default so one credit card for five passengers and that's what's basically the industry standard now. You'll have to put one, uh, you know, one PNR on one credit card. Um, so in the case of five passengers, each wanting to use your own, you're kind of stuck listening to them bicker about who's going to, who would rather collect points by using their card, but the other person's got a two percent cash back, so they want to use theirs. And at the end of the day, you as agents don't really care much to hear that and just want to move on to finishing up your booking. So we've actually gotten rid of that hassle for you. You could simply select on, uh, click here and select multiple payment, which populates here a drop down menu asking you to select how many credit cards you want to use. So you could actually use as many credit cards as there are passengers on the PNR. So that's why I selected five adults earlier so that I could show you here we could go up to five credit cards. So we could go up to nine because we could fit nine passengers on one PNR. And then at that point, we simply have a drag and drop system where we grab each customer and drag them into their respective credit cards. At that point, when we scroll down to the credit card information, you'll see here that we have different tabs, one, two, three, four, and five, so that you could proceed to entering each customer's information in their credit cards. Now, let's say, for example, we do have five people traveling, but it's not five friends who each want to use their card. Perhaps it's two couples traveling together. One of them has a child with them, and each couple wants to use their card. So at that point, you'd say, okay, I'd like to use two credit cards, and then I could drag and drop from one card to the other as I did from the top to bottom. So here we go, I dragged one customer over here, and now I have one card with three passengers, the other card with two, and now over here, cards three, four, and five disappeared because I'm only entering the payment information for two cards. So we could assign multiple credit cards to one PNR. What we won't do is split the fare, so everybody here will have to pay their 577 or the entirety of their fare will have to go on one credit card. So let's say here, for example, uh, Ernestina at 577 couldn't put 300 on card one and 277 on card two. The entirety of her 577 would have to be um, associated to one card specifically. So when we get down to our payment information here, for those uh, looking to take notes don't bother those are fake credit cards that uh, agencia <laughs> accepts for the purposes of test bookings so once you enter your customer's info and uh, this is a bit of a manual process even for our tests so i'm just entering some names here 
Uh, there we go, and I have to enter another card here, so just bear with me as I do that. So once you've entered your customer's information on each credit card, so let's say, for example, whoops, and this is supposed to be a MasterCard. Mm -hmm. So there we go. So once we've entered our customer's payment information, we say, okay, uh, you know, whoops, Jimmy here is responsible for uh, card one, and Thomas, as you saw earlier, is responsible for card two. We scroll down, click on I agree to the terms and conditions, and hit book and pay. So at this point, your booking is made. You marked up your fare by $250. The customers are going to get one charge on their credit card. Both customers are on the same PNR, so uh, or excuse me, all five customers are on the same PNR over two credit cards. So in the case of a schedule change, for example, you're not modifying two separate PNRs. Um, you know, anything that were to come up, you're always logging into one file versus multiple files. So, you know, especially in the case of, let's say, five friends traveling together, uh, who each want to use their credit card, much easier than opening five separate PNRs the minute a schedule change comes in. Um, so now, once you've confirmed your booking, uh, your page will look a bit different. Uh, for example, here you wouldn't see test booking. Uh, any bookings I make are immediately flagged as a test so that it doesn't uh, issue tickets. But once you get to your confirmation page, you will receive an Agencia Global reference number. So if you have any questions on your booking, you could reach out to us on that front. I will be displaying our contact info uh, shortly, but you could send us this, uh, this confirmation number by email. You could call us and give it to us if you need any help with it, or you could simply hit chat over here and you know type in your, say here, hello, I have a question and so on. So you could actually chat with us live uh, Eastern Standard Time, Monday to Friday from 9 to 5. This option here is always available, but after regular business hours on the East Coast, it becomes a little envelope. Anything you, you chat into there will be received by our team as an email and we'll answer you the following morning. Um, so on that note, on your confirmation page, you have your PNR, airline record locator, your Agencia Global confirmation number, and your customer's itinerary right here. If you forgot to click on the envelope earlier, you could do so. It gives you a little reminder of what kind of luggage is included with your itinerary if you hover over it. And then if you scroll down to your document section, you'll actually see that you have a customer itinerary available in PDF format. So it downloads right over here. You could either print it out or forward it over to your customer by email. Your agency info would appear up here. So again, it only says Agencia Global with our fake info account here um, so, so that we could just show you that something would populate. So if you're from ABC Travel, then instead of Agencia Global up here, you would see ABC Travel. It would be personalized for your agency. Your customer's itinerary would be indicated below. And then we actually include, if you email it to them, we actually include live links that once clicked on, redirect you to the airline's website to check in. So that's a little convenient feature for your customer, as well as if you go back, if they're traveling to a country with visa requirements, we offer a live link to the Visa HQ as well. So those are a few little bells and whistles to make your, your life easier. Now, <laughs> I'm just gonna flip over to our Gmail account here. So once you do make a booking, you do actually receive a confirmation email with uh, your Agencia Global confirmation number right over here. It is hyperlinked, so if you were to click on it, the page pops up, it's gonna bring you back to Agencia Global to your booking so that you could retrieve any info you want. So here I am, it's bringing me back to my booking. Uh, you just have to bear with it for about five seconds, there you go. And we're back to our confirmation page. So for that lucky winner, um, when you do, uh, you know, book your flight to uh, fly with Air Europa, make sure to use Agencia Global. Um, and uh, we do look forward to you letting us know what your experience was like, um, not because they're sponsoring the webinar, but we do have great feedback on Air Europa, which is why we're confident enough to promote them uh, via webinar as we present our tool to you. So we'd love to hear your feedback. Uh, speaking for Agencia Global specifically, uh, we are a consolidator, but we also consider ourselves a technology company, which is why we're able to bring updates to the platform as cool as the ability to hide your markup or to accept multiple credit cards on one PNR um, in a relatively short amount of time. All our IT, all our uh, IT, excuse me, is done in-house. 
So none of it is outsourced. You give us suggestions on how we can make your lives easier on tra as travel agents, and we'll do our best to deliver. Um, the only reason that we accept multiple credit cards on one TNR today and that we allow for hiding your markup is because travel agents brought those ideas to our attention. So if you have any feedback for us, uh, please feel free to reach out. So up here in the address bar, I'm just going to type out my email address for anybody who's interested in reaching out with uh, thoughts or feedback. Um, as for the winner of the pair of tickets, please keep in mind, well, if you're still on the call now, you have attended until the end, so congrats on fulfilling the first, uh, the first part of things. We do also ask, and it is audited, you do have to like Agencia Global and Air Europa on Facebook as well. Um, so please do so. The last thing I want is for us to select a winner, audit our Facebook page or our Europa's Facebook page, and uh, you know notice that you didn't uh, log in. And last but not least, you do have to register an account uh, on Agencia Global. So please log in, please play with the product. We're not forcing you to make a booking. Um, if you don't like what you saw, uh, we'd hope that you could at least let us know why so we could better ourselves for next time around. Um, but definitely please do register an account, log in there, provide us with your, with our, with your feedback. If you, know, you take a look at your current tool versus ours and you think we're lacking somewhere on a content front, that's actually my favorite part of my job, uh, <laughs> going after our partners for better content. So. Uh, you know, give me the challenge and uh, I'll come back to you with results. If it's about adding different features and so on, let us know. On that note, we will be launching uh, very shortly an ancillary tool, which, which is going to allow you to um, offer seat selection directly in Agencia as well. Uh, we are looking at offering hotels at some point in 2020. Um, and I'll mention it also since it tends to be a recurring question um, on our webinars. For the time being, we don't offer group fairs, but we are looking into that for next year as well. Um, so Doug, on that note, uh, that's pretty much it for me, but uh, it'd be my pleasure to answer questions for anybody who has any. Fantastic, thank you, Jimmy. Well, those are some awesome features, the blind markup and the, uh, the multiple credit card features, the things I haven't seen before. and I'm sure everybody will appreciate those. Um, before we jump into questions, and we do have a few, I just want to remind everybody that this session is being recorded, and it is going to be available early next week on our website, jacksfacts.com, uh, underneath the agent training uh, menu tab, in case anybody needs to go back and review anything Jimmy's gone over today. And with that, let me jump in and see what we have for questions here. Okay, we have a question. I'm not sure I understand this. They're asking, when making a reservation, under which name will it appear? When making a reservation, under which, which name, name would it appear? So if if you're referring to the what would be on the customer's credit card, if you're using the single charge, it would show up as a charge from Agencia Global, if that's what you mean. Um, if, if you'd like to maybe get uh, clarification on that and we could revisit it, uh, it'd be my pleasure. Sure, and you'll have the information about who's asked the question, so you can always get back to them directly too, Jimmy. Um, oh, perfect. Then in that case, uh, definitely we'll, we'll reach out. Good. Um, somebody asked a question that you just answered about the ability to assign seats. Yes, so uh, that's in the forecast before the end of the year. I don't like making false promises, so I won't provide you with a launch date for the time being, but we are looking at it before the end of the year. Um, is it possible to request non-light basic fares? Non-light basic fares with Air Europa specifically, I'm assuming. Um, I guess the best I could do on that front is say thank you for your question, and when Doug provides me with your contact info, I will get back to you on that one. I'd rather get back to you with the right answer than give you a wrong one just for the sake of sounding like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Um, is there after hours uh, help desk available? Ah, yes, okay, so let me go back here. Thank you for the reminder to whoever asked that question. So if we scroll down here to contact us, so here are our hours of operation. So we do operate uh, like our phone. You could give us a shout up to midnight, Monday to Saturday, 9 a.m. to midnight. The live chat, as I said, is regular business hours from Monday to Friday. 
Okay, perfect. And somebody's asking the address of your Facebook page or the name of the uh, Facebook so, page. So it's Agencia Global. I guess I'll uh, have to show you guys my personal Facebook at this point. <laughs> uh, um, so here we go. I'll be very quick about this. And to be honest, I don't even know if I remember my password. It's so old. Um, but basically, if you hit search in, uh, if you hit, if you hit in the search and put um, Agencia Global, we should be the first one to show up. Sorry, I use so many emails. I'm not sure which one I have on Facebook. <laughs> I think that's a problem um, we all have. <laughs> yeah, so I'll try this quickly. Uh, yeah, there you go. Um, so I can't provide you with the exact link right now, although yeah, you can't see Facebook if you're not logged in. Um, the e-blasts, though, that we sent out did include the word Agencia as a hyperlink. So if you click on that, it should direct you directly to our, uh, to our Facebook. Whoops, and I just misspelled Facebook. There we go. Uh, this is. Great, and Jimmy, we can send out there a link go. to that as well. No, we're there. So for, for anyone looking right now, here you go. Uh, it's Facebook dot com slash triple w agencia global com so no dots basically excellent okay uh, jimmy what credentials do agents need to be able to book with agencia so we ask for any of a few forms of accreditation so i'll direct your attention to my screen again here when you go to register um we ask for any of the following from this drop-down menu here. So if you have an IATA number, ARC, TIDS, CLIA, TICO, TRUE, OPC, CPBC, uh, we could get you set up. So um, if you don't have any of, the, any of the above, I'd encourage you to give us a shout to see if we could figure something out. But um, we want to ensure that you know, we prevent these fairs from being accessible to somebody who just wants to book their family vacation once a year and for friends and family. So this would help you significantly if you had one of these forms of, of accreditation. Perfect. Um, somebody's asking if you can display the contact page again with your phone number? Absolutely. So let's just log back in here quickly. Or here, contact us. And here you go. So I'm also going to direct your attention to our uh, our homepage. I'm just leaving this on a little while longer so that whoever asks can take the info down. But our website is simple enough. It's triple triple And you know, if I run through any of those features too quickly for anybody, when you get to our homepage here, if you click on features, we actually have a few little GIF images set up for you to get a quick idea again. So you know, the fair families, you'll see that when you select your flight, you hover over it, and different tabs show up. You have your multiple credit cards, so you see the little mouse there clicking on multiple credit cards and assigning its passengers, and so on. You know, the single charge from the drop-down menu for hiding your markup. So if, if anything was too quick at any point, you know, feel free to check out the features uh, page, but definitely contact us. Again, I will put this up on display for everyone to see. Um, I do love doing webinars for 50 plus as we're doing today, but I, prefer those smaller intimate webinars. So if you work for an agency, you know, with a couple of colleagues and you all just want a more in-depth crash course uh, on the product, please feel free to reach out and we'll set something up. Perfect. Okay. Jimmy, I think that is it for questions. Good job handling those. Um, again, okay. I would thank like you, sir. Of course. I would like to thank everybody again for your time today. Uh, please watch your emails for future invitations for future training sessions. I believe Agencia will be doing some more with us. And I'd like yep. to wish everybody a great afternoon, and we will see you all next time. Thank you very much, everyone. And um, on a part, just uh, one more thing before I let you all go. The winner will receive a notification from us by next Wednesday. So it may be sooner, but the absolute latest the winner will be hearing from us is in just less than a week from now. Fair enough. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you, Doug, and thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Okay, you too. Take care. Bye-bye.